These victory signs are just before the operation to take back ISIL's last stronghold in Iraq. Iraqi forces backed by Kurdish Peshmerga and volunteers have begun their advance towards the city of Mosul. The time of victory has come and hereby we announce the start of the offensive to retake the city of Mosul. We announce the start of the heroic operations to liberate you from the tyranny and the brutality of ISIL. Late at night, government helicopters dropped leaflets asking people to avoid ISIL locations and to assure them that civilians won't be targeted. Mosul's been under ISIL control for more than two years. Iraq's second largest city is strategic as it connects to Syria in the west and leads to Turkey in the north. And that's caused complications. The Iraqis, Kurds, Turks and Shia militias all agree that ISIL needs to be defeated. But the question of who goes in and what comes next has been divisive. The number of states and militias that are involved are perhaps too many to count. In addition to the militias, you have all sorts of states, including Turkey, that the Iraqi government does not want involved at all. They have no unity now, and the idea that they somehow could come together to deal with an incredibly vulnerable civilian population in Mosul to govern or to reconstruct um, that city, I'm very pes pessimistic about it. ISIL has been posting videos from inside Mosul that appear to show damage to civilian areas. The group has steadily lost large parts of its self-declared caliphate in Iraq and Syria. But many say the loss of territory doesn't necessarily mean that ISIL has been defeated. If you could remove uh, Daesh from Mosul tomorrow or even from the entirety of the Syria, you're not going to change anything fundamentally because Daesh is the symptom of the problem, not the cause of the problem. And the causes which pave the way to formation of an organization like Daesh or the so-called Islamic State are still there. The biggest challenge in taking Mosul remains the more than one million civilians inside the city. Aid agencies have warned that the operation could represent the single largest and most complex humanitarian operation in the world this year. And as soldiers and air support concentrates on defeating ISIL, what happens to the people of Mosul would be crucial to win the war. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.